Good morning and welcome to Face the Nation on this Super Bowl Sunday. For many pandemic weary Americans, game day is a much needed break, if only for a day. But we are now at the 11th hour of a crisis that is 5,000 miles away in Ukraine. Diplomatic efforts to defuse a potential military conflict that poses the biggest threat to Europe since World War II involve not just the U.S., but our NATO allies. President Biden spoke with Vladimir Putin for an hour yesterday, telling the Russian president that an attack on Ukraine would have a catastrophic impact and cause widespread human suffering. Mr. Biden also told him a diplomatic solution was still possible. President Biden plans to speak to Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky later today. Our MTS Tayyip reports from Kyiv. Ukraine's armed forces may be small compared with Russia's, but they are mighty. President Vladimir Zelensky oversaw the exercises held not far from Russian-occupied Crimea, a territory seized by Vladimir Putin eight years ago. The U.S. is now warning of an all-out invasion of Ukraine and says there is mounting evidence that Russia is poised to attack again, this time with a multi-axis assault using ground troops, amphibious forces, airstrikes and even ballistic missiles. But Zelensky says those dire warnings are doing more harm than good. The best friend for enemies that is panic in our country. And all this information that helps only for panic doesn't help us. As thousands took to the streets of Kyiv calling for peace, the U.S. quickly pulled military and other personnel out of the country, along with the U.K., Canada, Australia and nearly a dozen other nations following suit. Russia's military buildup in the region is only growing, with enormous live-fire military drills in neighboring Belarus and Moldova. The war games are mere miles away from the thousands of NATO and allied troops in the region, in what is the largest military buildup on the continent since the Cold War. Haunted by the chaotic scramble to evacuate from Afghanistan, President Biden has vowed he will not send in troops to Ukraine to rescue trapped Americans, with the State Department urging all Americans to leave immediately. Now, the deep skepticism here in Ukraine of an all-out war is dwarfed by Russia's massive military buildup on its borders as attempts to end this crisis with diplomacy intensify. Margaret. MTL's Tayyip, thank you.